In the previous video, we used a range of the sketch tools to draw the shape on screen. Our next step, which we'll cover in this video, is to how to use the extrude tool to make it 3D, and then a couple of different options to make it more interesting from there. The extrude tool is found in two ways. You can either come up to the construct menu and click on extrude, where we then click on the shape we would like to make 3D. You can see after clicking on this, it has become shaded blue. An arrow will appear, and you can click and drag up or down to change the height. You can also put the cursor here and type in exact measurement if that's what you're after. See that we've made a solid from our 2D shape. I'm going to undo this and show you the second way. If you click on the shape that you would like to make 3D, in the middle, not the border, we'll have a floating toolbar and the same extrude tool will come up. From this point it works exactly the same. After we've dragged our initial length, one option we haven't explored is to put draft on the sides or angle. You'll notice this disc will appear. We can drag that in or out to change the amount of slant. If you go too far either side, it'll turn red and give you an error. You might find it more useful to type in a smaller measurement here. To save the shape, we click into space and the options will appear and it is finalized. At this point, you might be noticing that the original sketch is still left behind. Instead of deleting it, we can come over to the eyeball and say hide sketches, giving us a much cleaner view. If you ever want all of your sketches back, simply come back to the same point, show sketches. For now, we'll leave them turned off. There's a couple of great tools for modifying our shape and making it more advanced. They're found in the modify menu. The first is the fillet tool. A fillet is when a smooth curve is placed on an edge. We can now click on the edge of this circle, zoom in and drag and you can see the effect of the fillet tool. It's quite powerful. We can type in an exact measurement if that's what we prefer. And to save it, like last time, we click off to the side. The next tool we're going to use is called the chamfer tool. A chamfer is when we put a straight edge that is exactly 45 degrees. We're going to do it on this one here. We click on the tool and then click and drag. An exact measurement can be input if we like and as always we click off into space to save it. Note with both of these tools we can do more than one curve at a time. If I spin the camera around, you can see I have sharp edges on both of these points. If I come back up to modify and then fill it, we can click on both of the lines before we input a measurement. Now we can add the fillet to both of them at the same time. One final tool that we might use is called Tweak, but it works best with simple shapes. For this example, we're just going to make a simple cube. Tweak can be found from the top menu as well as the context menu by clicking on the surface you want to change and then going to the cog. We're going to change this top surface. You can see that after we've clicked on it a number of options have come up. We can drag it to change the height but more excitingly we can use these discs to change the angle. You can also use a combination of these things to really play with the shape. Click off to save your work. From this point onwards, you can still use any of the other tools we've looked at so far, such as Fillet.
using just these simple 2D and 3D tools, you can make some very interesting shapes.